The time has come for another big Stranger Things update. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I got some Stranger Things Season 5 updates regarding the Duffer Brothers, regarding another pre gif that I have not talked about here on the channel. Lots to talk about, so before I get in this thing, be sure to hit that like button. Drop your Season 5 predictions in the comments down below based on the information we talk about in this video. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers here on the channel, trying to make that final push. And check out the podcast link down below for weekly episodes. We have a special edition Stranger Things episode coming on Stranger Stranger Things Day, you're not going to want to miss it. All right, so about two weeks ago, the Stranger Things writer's Twitter account posted another pre gif where the Duffer Brothers have been trying to visualize these scenes as much as possible before the actor strike ends so that when the actor strike does end, they can go on to set, film as quickly as possible, and hopefully get the season out to us as quickly as possible. I've talked about previous pre gifs involving Steve and Jonathan. Well, there's a new one that dropped about two weeks ago now. It shows Dustin in the front seat of a car, and then it shows a shot of the back seat of the car with Jonathan. Jonathan and seemingly Nancy in the backseat of that car, and they're in this red setting, which I assume to be the upside down, and then when you look at the top of this previous GIF, it says upside down, meaning they are literally driving around in the upside down. It also says McCorkle Farm, which is likely referring to Eugene McCorkle, who was the farmer in season two who complained that his pumpkins were being poisoned by Merrill Wright. As we would come to find out, they were just being contaminated by the upside down. Merrill's pumpkin patch acted as this entry point to the tunnel in the upside down. So I'm thinking that they're going back to this area and McCorkle Farm will serve as some sort of entry point into these tunnels in the upside down, a call back to season two. Regardless, Dustin, Nancy, and Jonathan are driving around in a car seemingly in the upside down. That's going to be crazy. And again, they've talked about how season five is going to be the biggest season yet. And driving around in the upside down, I can only imagine how expensive that's going to be budget wise. We already saw how expensive it was for season four. So I imagine there's going to be a lot more scenes in the upside down in season five. As the upside down and Hawkins have essentially merged into one, at least as we as the audience know it. Now, the one thing I want to mention about this is we don't see who's in the other front seat of the car, the person who would be driving the car. My guess is Steve Harrington. Steve driving just seems fitting with this group of characters. We already have that previous gif of just Jonathan and Steve, so I imagine they will have Steve come in and be with Jonathan and Nancy, and then Dustin and Steve are the best duo, so of course they're going to be together, but that group of four characters could be spending a lot of time together in this final season of the show, and I'm not opposed to it at all. Again, all season long, I feel like we're going to be going back and forth between Stancy and Jancy, and they'll finally give us the answer maybe in the final episode. Who's to say one of them might not even make it to the final episode? It's very important to note, this is the fourth episode of season five. If you look at the description at the top where we saw McCorkle Farms upside down, you can see 504 indicating this is the midway mark of the season if they stick to eight episodes, which they've said in the past they're going to do. The Stranger Things writer's Twitter account dropped a diagram outlining eight episodes. This was a while ago. Everything was blurred out. But if they stay true to that and there are eight episodes, this would be the mid-season finale of the final season of Stranger Things. And that shows Dustin, Nancy, Jonathan, and probably Steve driving around the Upside Down. But the Upside Down will play the biggest role yet in this final season. It goes without saying. But that's honestly old news. I just hadn't talked about it here on the channel. I had to give you guys that update. But the bigger news actually dropped today on Ross Duffer's Instagram story. He posted a video of him and his brother Matt shot listening with Funko Pops for the final season of the show. This is just a video of them with all the different Stranger Things characters as Funko Pops, and they're lining them up using an iPhone camera just like this, trying to figure out what the best shots will be when they actually have the actors on set to film. Again, further showing how much work they're doing behind the scenes right now to have everything as close to ready to go as possible for when the actors can step on that set and they can get to filming. And I'm gonna play that full video from Ross Stewart's Instagram story right now and then dive into it. You'll probably have some sort of straight on with Joyce where you're seeing them kind of crowding and then and we'll probably have some rakes, you know? Yeah, but how do we get, we need to get to Will though. Yeah. Well, what, isn't it Joyce tensing and then? Yeah, well, it starts with 11 and then, because 11 says there's not enough. Oh, she says there's not enough. Either too many. What if we just pull back? Like we just start on on you know ner mm -hmm. there's too many and we land on Will, and he's looking nervous. And then we could we could zero in on him like that. Yeah. Is that weird to pull and then move in? I don't think so. 
So the characters they have lined up front and center from left to right are Robin and Nancy, Joyce in the middle, and then Eleven and Will next to each other on the far right. In the way back, you can see Mike, and then off to the back right, we've got Dustin and Hopper. And it's really worth noting that Steve is laying down on his back slightly out of frame. Could this be signifying Steve Harrington's death? Or did they just leave him laying down out of frame because he's not in this scene? We can leave that up to interpretation, but man, imagine if they revealed Steve's death on an Instagram story via Funko Pop. The world would never be the same. We've seen from the first episode of this show that Joyce would do anything to protect her kids and those that she loves, and her being front and center, honestly, it slays. <laughs> Now you can actually hear voiceover of the Duffer Brothers on this Instagram story video, as you guys heard, and it says they need to get to Will. So obviously Will's role is going to be the most important. It's been through all five seasons in this final season, as he's going to probably have some sort of connection with Vecna and the Upside Down, and a lot of information that's gonna progress this final season forward is probably gonna come through Will. Supposedly Eleven says there's not enough. What is this referring to? I don't know. It could be referring to voltage or power sources, as we do have that previous gif of Steve and Jonathan trying to set up some sort of generator, or it could be referring to some upside down entity. I'm not really sure that's going to be the beauty of us actually watching this. We have no clue what episode this is from. We'll just have to wait and find out. And as the Duffers are going through the process of trying to figure out how they're going to shoot this scene when they do get to film it, they come to a conclusion of why don't we just land on Will looking nervous. So it seems like Will is going to come face to face with Vecna, which has been written on the wall for a while now. It seems like that is a likely scenario in this final season. So it was just cool to get this little behind the scenes video of the Duffer Brothers using Funko Pops. It shows how dedicated they are to want to get as much as possible done before they can actually get to set to film. And I love how all the main characters are together. In previous seasons, they've been split up into different groups, especially in season three, they were all over the world. So in season five, having all of our main characters together for the final season just feels fitting. And I think we're gonna get our character groupings from season one that you know we knew and love. We're gonna get those back. However, everyone's still gonna be together for the most part. Now, the question I do ask after seeing this is, number one, is Steve okay, or do they just have him out of frame? Are Mike, Dustin, and Hopper actually in this scene, or were they just in the background from a previous shot listing they were doing? And most importantly, are Max and Lucas just together in the hospital the entirety of the season? Who knows? Maybe they're alive and well and on some other side quest. We really have no clue. All I know is, shout out to the Duffer Brothers for putting in that work right now, trying to deliver this season and make it the best as possible, and hopefully execute on filming as quickly as can be once the actor strike is resolved, but I'm so hopeful for this final season. I know I constantly make these update videos. I have so much fun doing them. I just love talking about this show that I'm so passionate about. And I just love how the Duffer Brothers keep teasing us with these previs gifts or with these Instagram story videos. They're giving us as much as they can, given the circumstances. And with Stranger Things Day rapidly approaching, it's actually next week, they apparently have something in store. A lot of big Twitter accounts have been saying something's coming, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, but I'm really, really hopeful for Stranger Things Day. And of course, I'll have a video and a special podcast episode talking about Stranger Things Day. If we get any news, I'll be recapping it here. You guys already know. But that's gonna do it for this Stranger Things 5 update video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified for all my future Stranger Things content and updates. But I also make tons of other movie and TV content you guys should check out. If you only watch my Stranger Things stuff, I got tons of other videos on the channel. But thank y'all as always for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the other side of the Upside Down.